Hey, what's up? I hope you're doing great. My name is Daniel Carreón, and today we will talk about a very easy topic. Convert a decimal to a fraction. But before we start, let's go over some basics. From the point to the right, the numbers are called decimals and have different names according to their position. When they are in the first position, they are called tenths. When they finish in second place, they are called hundredths. When they finish in third place, they are called thousandths. When they finish in fourth place, they are called ten thousandths. And in fifth place, one hundred thousandths. Once we know that, it would be very easy for us to review this topic. Let's go with the first example. Here I have 0 0.25 and they are tens, hundreds. Therefore, in the numerator, I put 25 without a decimal point. And in the denominator, I put 100 because we are talking about hundreds. Now, to simplify our fraction, we would always have to divide by 2, by 3, or by 5. First, I am going to see if we are able to divide by 2. 100 can be divided by 2, but not 25. Therefore, I move on to number 3. 100 cannot be divided by 3 and 25 either. Now I go to number 5. If I divide 25 by 5, it gives me 5. And if I divide 100 by 5, it gives me 20. Now, I divide by 5 again. If I divide 5 by 5, it gives me 1. And 20 by 5 gives 4. Therefore, 0.25 is equal to any of these equivalent fractions. Now I have 0.6 and we realize that they are tenths. Therefore, I put six above and 10 below in the denominator because they are tenths. First, I try to divide by two. Six can be divided by two and 10 as well. Then six divided by two is equal to three and 10 divided by two is equal to five. Did you see? 0.6 equals six tenths or three fifths. Now I have 0 0.125. Have you noticed? They are tens, hundreds, thousands. I put 125 in the numerator without the decimal point, and in the denominator, I put a thousand because they are thousands. Now I see that 125 cannot be divided by two, nor can it be divided by three, but the two numbers can be divided by 5. So 125 divided by 5 gives me 25. And 1000 divided by 5 gives me 200. I see that both numbers can be divided again by 5. And 25 divided by 5 gives me 5. And 200 divided by 5 gives me 40. They can still be divided again by 5. 5 divided by 5 gives me 1 and 40 divided by 5 gives me 8. Therefore, 0 0.125 is equal to any of these equivalent fractions. Now I have 0 0.30, which are tens, hundreds. Therefore, in the numerator, I put 30 without the decimal point. And in the denominator, I put 100 because they are hundreds. And I see that both numbers can be divided by 2. 30 divided by 2 is equal to 15. And 100 divided by 2 is equal to 50. Now I realize that both numbers can no longer be divided by 2 or by 3, but by 5, they can. 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. And 50 divided by 5 is equal to 10. Therefore, 0.30 is equal to any of these equivalent fractions. Now I have 0 0.75. They are tens, hundreds. 
And since the year hundreds, I put 75 above the fraction without the decimal point, and I put 100 as the denominator because they are hundreds. Here I realized that both numbers cannot be divided by two and neither by three. Therefore, I have to divide by five. 75 divided by five is equal to 15 and 100 divided by five is equal to 20. I see that both can be divided again by five. 15 divided by five is equal to three and 20 divided by five is equal to four. Very easy, right? Therefore, 0 0.75 is equal to any of the following equivalent fractions. I really hope you liked this video. Please hit the like button, comment, share, and subscribe to be able to keep watching my videos. Don't forget to follow me on my social media. See you next time. Bye-bye.